me and Akinar have joined forces to present to you our new series titled The Arrivals. This series is an extremely powerful and unprecedented one as it is filled with several surprises and extremely important information. It will feature key interviews and great footage aimed at highlighting the bigger picture for you, the viewer. So let's get ready to raise the awareness and do our best to spread this information so people around the world understand what's really happening in today's world. We need each and every one of you to join in and be part of this change. A lot of work has been put into making this series come true. And for that, I'd like to thank Akinar, Freedom to You, Abdullah Hashim, If It's Allah's Will, Truth, Justice, Freedom, and Saif al -Din. Peace from Noriega and Akinar. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واتبعوا ما تتلو الشياطين على ملك سليمان وما كفر سليمان ولكن الشياطين كفروا ولكن الشياطين كفروا يعلمون الناس السحر وما أنزل على الملكين بباب لهاروت وماروت وما يعلمان من أحد حتى يقولا حتى يقولا إن ما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر فيتعلمون منهما ما يفرقون به بين المرء وزوجه وما هم بضارين به من أحد إلا بإذن الله ويتعلمون ما يضرهم ولا ينفعهم ولقد علموا لمن اشتراه ما له في الآخرة من خلاق ولبئس ما شروا به أنفسهم لو كانوا يعلمون after Jerusalem was taken, the Dome of the Rock was seized by a group of warrior monks calling themselves the Knights of the Temple of Solomon, or more simply, the Knights Templars. In Jerusalem, the Templars began to deviate further and further away from the practices of Christianity. They learned the secret arts of the Kabbalah, an ancient form of Jewish magic, along with its dark rites and rituals. The Jews had learned the arts from the pagans of ancient Egypt during the times of enslavement to the Pharaoh and developed them into Babylon at the time of Nebuchadnezzar. In 1307, King Philippe of France arrested them for charges of denial of Christ, homosexuality and idol worship as well as magic. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. In fact, they have done so for centuries. From the shadows, they have engineered every major war, revolution and recession. They control everything you read, everything you hear and everything you see. They have managed to indoctrinate an entire populace to their way of thinking and have infiltrated key positions in places of authority. And it is from the shadows that they have created a new political order, a new economic order and more sinister, a new religious order.